Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for September 17th through the 23rd. This is for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that, you know, if this doesn't resonate, it's not for you. Okay, I don't want to see any comments below. I'm confused. If you're confused then the reading isn't for you. I've also had some comments under other videos, not yours. I don't know why I'm bringing it up, but I'm going to. Um, but you don't know the whole story. Well, then this reading isn't for you. No, I'm going to bring that up on a live. I know that you guys are more practical than that. That was on an air sign. No offense to the cross watchers that are air signs, but um, you guys are, are not usually... You, you're pretty much real, okay? You're very reality-oriented, so I do apologize for telling you that, but there was a reason for it. We don't know why, but uh, if it's not for you, it's not for you. That's the message that just came out of my mouth. And that's a pretty good message just came to me. So the universe works in mysterious ways, you know, to get the messages out. The message in that message that I just told you was if it's not for you, it's not for you. If it's not for you, it's not for you in life. If you are in a situation that is no longer benefiting your desires, your feelings, your heart, you have to face your pride. You have to walk away even if it hurts, okay? If it's not benefiting you, if it's not for you, it's not for you in life. You need to be able to stand up to adversity because your heart, your heart matters. Oh my goodness. Now look at this, okay? Oh my goodness. Heart. Mind. Somebody's not feeling the love. All right, somebody's not feeling the love. In a situation. But there could be messages of love communication coming in from another direction So many contradictions here, okay? It is. There's some serious power struggles. And somebody needs to give up and move on. Release, move on. I mean, because you're in a situation where there's, there's too much discontent. There's too much boredom. Or you have been, okay? So there's an opportunity for love here. New love, new love, okay? The Four of Cups reversed. It's like you have this offer. You have this offer of love, but you may be, you may feel like you don't have the power to accept it. You don't have the power to accept this offer of love. You don't have the strength. You don't have any, you don't have the power. Okay, the magician reversed. The power is reversed. Okay, it's like you don't have the power to accept this, this, this love. Oh. There's, an, there's a, a rude awakening here. A rude awakening that involves moving on towards happiness. Facing your pride, facing your ego, facing the outsiders, okay? Some sort of awakening is going to happen. Whether it's a, a rude awakening, well, it looks like it's going to be a rude awakening with the tower, okay? 
something is going to happen that is going to give you the clarity that you need, the information, the inner knowing that you need to move on from a situation that is less than fulfilling and head in the direction of happiness. Whatever is happening with this tower moment, you know, whatever is breaking apart, whatever is going away is actually going to help you to heal. It's going to help you to, it's going to bring more light and happiness into your life because it's going to allow you to release something that's not emotionally fulfilling. So maybe somebody's coming in and they're helping you to heal because this is like a, you could, you know, this is healing and this is a person that could be coming in helping you to heal from massive hurt. So I feel like you, you may fear letting this person in, fear of deception. You may fear that they have some tricks up their sleeve. But you need to let go of that wounded wounded warrior mentality. And I would say allow this person to at least be your friend. At least, you know, offer support. Oh... I think you guys are moving on from a from a situation that was that brought you down, that brought you to your knees, and I see happiness is coming, happiness and healing. You're moving on from a situation that there where there was new love. I mean, no love where there was. You're moving on from a situation where there was no love. It was dissatisfying and unrealistic to stay there. And now, and now it's time for you to do the right thing. Now there could be a divorce on the horizon. But this is about, this is legal issue, issues perhaps. Something is going to become final. Something is going to become final and allow you to finally move on to something more fulfilling. It's final. It's final. The final decision has been made. This is finally crumbled to the point of no return. Woo! Now this is this is indecision. This is the decision has been made. This is options, choices, illusion. A complex decision. Consequences consequences for the decisions that you make let's get another one for that oh my goodness somebody has made some poor decisions to and, and there's consequences for them poor decisions Okay, there, this is poor decision making. Life has been turned upside down. And maybe that's where this, this confusion has developed because somebody may have been deceiving themselves and staying in a situation that was less than fulfilling because they didn't want it to turn upside down. But anyway, it looks as though things... Um, Are falling apart. It looks like things are falling apart. In one situation. He's going to fall. He's going to fall. He's upside down. He's going to fall. So maybe you're falling in love. Oh, son of a bitch. Because this is the Ace of Cups. Falling. And this is the Ace of Cups right here. Ooh. 
no growth up there, no growth, no love, no passion. And I want love. I made the wrong decision to stay in a situation that wasn't love and now I want to fall in love. And maybe you weren't planning on falling in love, but you did with somebody new. I think there is. I think there's a, a situation here where somebody has probably or is very worried. For one, somebody is really worried about a divorce, okay? Just saying, I see divorce here where somebody is really worried about what it's going to cost to get a divorce, but they're not in love with their situation. They're not in love. There's no passion. And there's another opportunity for love. That's for some of you. Um, for some of you, yeah, there's a lot of worry and anxiety about releasing, about letting go of something. But there's no love in that situation. And there's an opportunity for new love and commitment someplace else. You're also being called to listen to your inner guide at this time. Something needs to be finalized because there's no more passion. It needs to be final. You need to stop living in those consequences. That seven of cups is consequences for the decision do you make that you make. Do you stay in this situation where there's there's nothing? I mean, there's nothing. There's no love. There's no passion. There's nothing. The person may not even be in your life anymore. You know, maybe you're just holding on to it because... There's, there's fantasy here with the Seven of Cups. Who knows? But it feels as though somebody is hanging on to a situation that is not fulfilling them. And now there's an opportunity for, for love. But you have to stop deceiving yourself in one situation and face, and face your pride. Face the outsiders. Face society. Face whoever it is that you've got to face. Um, yeah, this overly emotional. Somebody is really overly emotional in their thoughts and their feelings. You may feel overwhelmed with the decision that you have to make. I think that somebody is, is really feeling overwhelmed about love, you know, feeling like this. I know there's more. I know there's more. I know there's more. This is heavy. It's heavy. And I feel like you're trying to keep things balanced. You're trying to keep things organized and you probably have to make a decision between two paths there's one door that needs to close, but you're reluctant to close that door. It could be because of financial reasons. It could also be because of of pride, okay? But I do believe that you are receiving some sort of communication from someone new that's really um, wanting you to... I can't think of the word. Wanting you to heal and and let go of the sorrow and just open your heart to them somebody wants you to open their heart to them now this is abundance this is enjoying life this is becoming single or being single and being grateful now nines are nines are about closure we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and we have another Nine down here too. I'm pretty sure we do. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. We have the Nine of Wands right here. I knew we did. So we have these three Nines. Closure, closure, closure. It's time to move on. When you see three Nines, it means it's a sign to move on. It's a time to uh, let this new opportunity grow. Okay, whether it's you becoming single and, and taking care of business on your own and, and just enjoying life as it is, letting this storm end, okay? The storm is over with both these cards. The storm is over. This is enjoying life as it is. I'm abundant. I'm good. I'm great, okay? That's releasing the worries. But you have to close the door to get to this point. Somebody is, I think somebody's throwing away an opportunity for true love for some reason. They're throwing away an opportunity for true love. And it's because 
what did I say at the beginning of this reading? They always go so fast. Um, if it's not meant for you, it's not meant for you. So therefore, I think that somebody is staying in a situation that is not meant for them. Okay? There's no love. There's no passion. And there's another opportunity that could be true love. See, this is over here. But you, you, have, to, you have to find your independence first. Let go of the sorrow. Let go of the hurt. Start the healing process. Get out of your your depression and allow your self-love to push you in the direction that is going to bring you abundance. But somebody's not following their own heart with this. With this, it's like you're not following your own heart. You're not. You're not. You're not. And therefore, there's an opportunity for love that is being wasted and you're losing sleep over it. Absolutely. You're losing sleep because you have a choice between two. Okay. So you're losing sleep over it. You have this opportunity for a rebirth. Okay. For something new. Okay. You do. You have this opportunity. But you have to deal with the pain of this situation that is not compatible so that you can get the love that you are dreaming about the miracle is on the other side you have to go through stages so there could be a divorce then independence then new love the birth of something new a birth of a new partnership which is being blocked because somebody is in a situation that is I mean come on now that don't look good And it's time for you to accept the truth and use your, find your power and use your sword. Use your sword. Accept the truth. Somebody is trying to boost your confidence. They're trying to help you. They're trying to get you to see what you're worth. And it's time for you to take the lead. You could have somebody that's trying to really take care of you. You know, they want to take care of you. They want to help you. They want a new beginning with you. Somebody wants to start a new life with you, perhaps. This is, a, this is the last card in the deck, okay? So this means that you go through all those majors, you go through all those lessons, you go through that cycle, and then it ends, and then you bring, begin another one. This is a major completion. But you need to find your confidence and your courage and your strength to take back your power and do what's right for you. There's an opportunity for something new here. But you have to see your worth. You have to face some pain first. I mean, come on now. We all know that you got to face pain to be to get to be this, to get your to get your miracle. You do, and that's part of a life lesson. That's strength, okay? And this is a kind of strength. It is. So you have to find your strength to do what's right for you. If it's not meant for you, it's not meant for you. That's your truth. Remember that consequences I told you about with that seven of cups? There's consequences for the choices that you make. Hold up. Are you really thinking about this? Is this what you want for the rest of your life? Some of you are holding on to a situation <coughs> where the other person's not there. The other person is not in the picture. The other person is gone. Do you want to be alone for the rest of your life? Are you going to be happy with that? <clears throat> For some of you, you're hanging on to a marriage. Okay, because we have marriage here a couple times. That is, there's no passion and there's no love. And you know the truth, but you don't have the strength to move on. Move on is a big theme. Move on, move on. The whole message is move on here. For anybody, move on. 999. 
move on. That's the message of this week. Move on. Because there's bigger and better things waiting for you. There's love here. There's love here. But it's, it's new love. You have to step outside of your comfort zone. You need to remove the obstacles that are holding you back from that partnership. You know which one it is. I know you do. But there's some people here that, that are holding on to something that isn't meant to be. That's the truth. And you need to let it go. You need to drop it. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. It's too heavy. It's, it's too burdensome. It's not serving you. Completion. There's a new beginning in love waiting for you. All you have to do is accept. For real. Accept, accept, accept. Accept. time to be practical it is you have to be practical mature So anyway, I feel like this is a week of making a choice, probably between two options. You may have a choice between two different people, okay? One of them is, is you may be stable with this person, okay? It may be stable. This person may be stable, secure, you know, financially it's probably the most logical route. The other person is full of life, full of passion, exciting. What are you going to do? The advice is to move on. And it's funny, now he's covered up and this one's face is showing. There's an opportunity for love here that will fulfill your heart. Don't let whoever it is that is bringing you down, whether they're doing it on purpose or not. This person may not know they're bringing you down. Somebody is bringing you down to the point where you're not feeling it. And maybe you're not with this person anymore and you're still holding on to the remnants. I don't know. It's time to move on and let this new love grow. Growth. Discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Listen to the wisdom that rises from your soul. Even if those around you don't agree. Trust your instincts. Be yourself. Whatever the situation. And respond from the authentic place inside. So funny I started this reading out the way I did. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Oh my goodness. Be yourself, whatever the situation, and respond from the authentic place inside. Be starkly honest with yourself. Speak your truth. Live your truth. Walk your talk. Listen to your inner guidance and follow it. You radiate the energy of truth to others. So that, you can, so that they can find their truth. I think they're talking to me. If you are facing a decision and your mind says one thing and your heart says another. Remember I said mind and heart? They do this for me all the time. That's fucking crazy. Excuse my language. Okay. That's crazy. If you are facing a decision and your heart says one thing and your mind says, and, and your mind says another... Follow the dictates of your heart and you'll be on the right path. If you get a nudge to speak to someone or go in a particular direction, don't hesitate. Follow this guidance. 
On your journey, others may indicate what path you should take and why. Remember, I was telling you about others. You've got to stop. You can listen to their advice. However, there's consequences. However, if your heart indicates another way, follow that. There's a place inside of yourself that always knows the truth. Take time to be still. To discover that genuine place of knowing within. Often the hardest thing about living your truth is discovering what it is. So it's important to slow down, be quiet, and listen to the whispers of your soul. If there's an area of your life in which you are not being authentic... I want to read that part again. If there's an area of your life in which you are not being authentic or where you're not in integrity with your values, this is the time to make some changes. Where you're not in integrity with your values. I should have started the reading out with that, huh? Somebody is in a situation they don't want to be in. Or they're holding on to a situation that they know is not has no growth. And now there's a, no, a new opportunity of love that could lead to a lot of love, a lot. But you gotta, you gotta move on. Allow the growth, allow the growth with the new partner, for real, accept. So Virgo, there is an opportunity for love here, if you allow it. Somebody loves you okay they do or they want to love you they want to love you they want you to open your heart to them follow your heart you're worth it 